kind of what it would look like. There's about six stairs down into this area, so you're kind of on those stairs. But you can see the great views of Centennial Campus, a lot of glass. Uh, to the right is that seminar room there that you can enter into the doors. Just a lot of great public areas to, to sit and mingle and talk to. Uh, if you go upstairs, uh, the, the building is built in an open fashion. No longer will each individual researcher or research program have their own lab that's in cinder blocks with uh, one door with a small window and no other windows in their lab. Uh, we've kind of done away with that. We've got a lot of glass, a lot of open areas. Uh, you see some movable research benches here that can be accommodated to fit other what the research is doing. And maybe some of your uh, maybe wet benches aren't even needed. They're computational kind of stations as, as we re research goes that way. But you see a lot of this open, uh, open air, open office kind of setting uh, for, again, to promote that collaboration uh, effect here. Any good business, any good operation runs from a mission statement, and we put this one together, and I've kind of highlighted some of the keywords here that I want to stress a little bit later. But uh, the Mission to Find Science Initiative is to really accelerate. I want to pause there because we have great research going on today. Historically, NC State's been great for many years, decades. But as you know, in science, things are faster and faster. We're producing more data, more data, and more research results are coming quicker and quicker. And society is really demanding that we kind of pick up the pace if we're going to meet that grand challenge of feeding a bunch more people in 2050 than we have here today. So the acceleration piece of this is important as we put the PSI together. In terms of the discovery, the educational piece, which I include the student piece of this, innovation and outreach. And so we'll do this by working together interdisciplinary, really, and I'll talk about that. And uh, the great news is this building has already got a lot of uh, partnerships, a lot of stakeholders involved. Uh, we live in a great state for agriculture. It's our number one industry, $87 billion. Uh, and a lot of uh, people pay attention to agriculture in our state. In my career, I've lived in uh, 13 different locations, many states in those 13. And I will tell you, in a lot of those states, agriculture is not even on the top 10 in terms of the importance of that state's economy. Not so in North Carolina. And we're blessed by that because uh, we have a lot of uh, people that can uh, pay attention to it and give us uh, the focus that we need. Core goals here. Uh, we heard me talk about partnership-driven efforts. We're grateful. So far, the building has uh, people from 44 different commodity associations in our state have written checks to support the building of this building, 44. Uh, that's, that's pretty darn good when uh, associations have written checks and have that. I will also tell you that's the good news. The bad news is all 44 of those people are going to want something out of the building, right? <laughs> so you're going to have to please a bunch of masters here, but uh, we'll work on that. Integrate world-class talent and leadership. I firmly believe we have that today, but the best, the best building, the best faculty, the best students, the best facilities, the best equipment will keep and attract the best. That's kind of one of those balls that starts rolling down the hill and picks up momentum. We'll build interdisciplinary teams, I'll talk about that. And I'll spend some time on this next generation student because uh, this is important uh, in my eyes and in the university's eyes. And then we will construct that globally renowned uh, science hub. So let's talk about that next generation student. Some of you are in that student uh, mode, some of you are postdocs or whatever, but this is really exciting because uh, the next generation student is something that NC State can do better than a lot of private research companies. You know the Danforth Center in St. Louis, we always get compared as, uh, as competitors to the Danforth Center. They're doing great science, great research, great plant science uh, out of the Danforth Center. I think NC State does a couple of things that differentiates ourselves from them. Number one, we can take an idea from discovery all the way to implementation, you know, the think and do university. So we, we've got great scientists along the pathway of discovery all the way to, to uh, what I'll call IP or new, new, uh, new companies, new products. Can you say something more about the yes. Danforth Center? I don't think yep. everybody even knows what Dor Danforth Center is a private research center in, Danf in uh, St. Louis, Illinois. Uh, that has great scientists doing private re research for private companies. Turning out great things, but they don't turn out the students, and I don't think they have, I know they don't have the breadth of the field assets that we have here at NC State. You know, we can take an idea from the bench to the greenhouse to the field in a number of our different locations around our state. 
test that concept and test that product out. So this next generation student is something that we can do very, very well. We've got a visitor in from the VIB. VIB is a Belgium institute that does, again, plant science research, great research. Uh, they turn out students as well, but they don't have the field component that uh, we do here in North Carolina. So we're, we're great in a lot of different areas, inside, outside, and student generation for that uh, to, uh, to fill those jobs that are here and coming. The student coming out of the Plant Science Initiative, the, the postdoc, uh, the graduate student coming out, uh, will have a broad range of uh, knowledge in a lot of related disciplines. When I was a graduate student, entomology, I feel I was pretty well trained in entomology. Not too bad. But I really wasn't forced to think, nor was I forced academically, to kind of leave my building, per se. I think I uh, make the joke that the, the horizontal part of my graduate education was I had to take another class in organic chemistry. You know, not too far of a departure from entomology. But what we're going to ask our students to do, from the Plant Science Initiative training perspective, is to get a broader range, get a broader range of education. Uh, maybe it's finance, maybe it's social sciences, maybe it's history. Uh, outside uh, the, the true science piece of what uh, we went to school to, to get a degree in. Strong communication and interpersonal skills. I cannot stress enough, having worked uh, in industry a long time and been around the country, how important this aspect of uh, students getting trained and getting better in communication and interpersonal skills. You can be the brightest scientist in the world but I guarantee you, your, your cap, your ceiling will be limited if you don't practice and hone in on communication and personal skills.